Hey guys, welcome back, it's Matt here, and today I'm gonna to be showing you every little step that goes into my color processing in terms of, you know, color grading my footage. Now, I live in Scotland, and the weather is always terrible. It's always super rainy and not very nice. So the fact that it's beautiful today and there's not even a cloud in the sky is completely unheard of. So I thought, let's make use of this weather. I'll capture some nice B-roll shots. I am using the Canon R6 and I'm recording in C-Log3. So it's a flat color profile. It brings down your highlights. It brings up your shadows. It gives you kind of a whitewashed image. Now, mainly I will be focusing on the C-Log3 because I have actually done a color grade video for drone footage specifically. So if you would like to check that out, there'll be a card or a link down below. But let's just go ahead and shoot some really nice B-roll shots. I'll show you them and then afterwards, I'll show you exactly how I edited them. So let's go ahead and jump straight into it. Okay, so now we're on my editor. This is Final Cut Pro. As you can see, this is some footage that I captured of my drone flying, which was actually in that sort of cinematic sequence I did. And this is what it looked like before. So before and after. So as you can see, a little bit more contrast on the shadows of the drone. Colors are brought up, but they don't look too oversaturated. And there's also kind of this nice warmth running throughout the image. So let's go ahead and delete all these presets and we're gonna start from scratch. Oh, it kills me to do that. So the first thing I always apply is a LUT. So go down into your little filter effect section down here, search for LUT, drag on a LUT, and then up here on the dropdown, you're gonna wanna apply this one right here, which is the Canon C-Log3 to Rec. 709. I will leave it linked down below. You can just go ahead and download it. And then you need to go ahead and click choose custom LUT, then you need to go ahead and find wherever the file is that you downloaded, select it, and it should import into Final Cut. Okay, so now let's go ahead and apply it. So here we go. And boom, as you can see, the colors are now, are now there. It's brought up from this gray whitewashed image into something a little bit more usable. So let's go ahead and apply another custom look. I always apply this one right here, the Pocket Fall Vibes. It just gives it that like oomph, the cinematic kind of look. So as you can see, it darkens it a tad as well. And then we're gonna maybe scale back just a little bit the uh, the Canon LUT we have up there. And then let's go ahead, click up here. We're gonna open up the color wheels. You can also click here, click new color wheel. And then we're gonna go ahead and adjust this. So let's bring up the highlights so we can see the drone and we can see the sky and the beach a little bit more. And then let's bring up the shadows a touch and then bring down those midtones. So now we still have this kind of yellowish tint on the drone. I'm gonna actually bring up the shadows a tiny bit more. And then we're gonna go ahead and actually open up a hue and saturation curve. So now we're gonna adjust the hues. So if you click this little droplet thing up here, click on the sky, you can now go ahead and adjust the type of blue in the sky. So we're gonna make sure it looks a little bit turquoise, a little bit summery. And then we're gonna select the beach. And then we're gonna adjust the sand color to make it a little bit more orangey than it was before. And now I'm gonna adjust the saturation. So I'm gonna go ahead and choose the sand, bring the saturation down a touch, select the sky, bring the saturation down a touch as well. And then that looks actually pretty nice, but I don't really like the warmth. So let's go ahead and adjust the temperature down in the color wheel, and we'll make it a little bit warmer. And as you can see, that removes some of the yellowish green tint on the drone. So that's already looking a lot nicer. Let's make it a little bit bigger so you guys can see it a little bit better. So it's looking pretty good. Now I'm gonna adjust the tint. So this little tint slider, if you move it to the right, it's gonna make it a little bit more red. If you adjust it to the left, it's gonna make it a little bit more green. So we wanna go and try and balance the colors that little bit more. So I think that looks pretty balanced. And then in these shadows, we can go over to the shadow section drag away from the yellow, and that's gonna go ahead and give you a less yellowish image 
on the drone. So let's just bring shadows down a touch. I think that looks pretty good. But yeah, as you can see, that is pretty much all I really changed. I just went ahead and applied a couple of LUTs, which you can pick up in the link down below. And then I did some minor adjustments using the color wheels and the hue saturation curve, which, uh, which was pretty simple. So once you've gone ahead and adjusted your clip, select your clip, do command C, and then go to the other clips you want to paste it on, then go ahead and click on it, shift command V. It will pop up with this paste attributes panel. You can choose all of the LUTs and color effects and, and adjustments that you want to apply to this new clip. So it really saves you a lot of time rather than going clip by clip and doing all this. You can just do it to one clip, paste it to all the others. And then if there's any different colors or different lighting, you can go and manually tweak these settings across those clips. So that is how I color grade all of my flat color profiled C-Log3 footage from my Canon R6. So I hope you enjoyed my video. I know this was a super short one, but um, that is pretty much how I do it. Not much else to say. And I'll see you guys later. Remember to subscribe. Leave any comments down below if you have any recommendations about future videos. I would love to hear it. But I'll see you later. Peace.